Yes. Mm -hmm. I hereby certify that I arrested the named defendant. Oh, <laughs> look at certify that I was arrested. Yes. For a failure to appear to a court hearing where you sent the notice to the wrong address. <laughs> that happened to be the same address that the county used for the last five fucking years. Now, when I email law enforcement wanting to know what something is about, yes, because I wouldn't have thought this. I would have never thought it would have been a criminal complaint. See, it doesn't say online exactly what the fucking thing is. <coughs> Brett. Now, this cyber stalking where you say I was contacting my wife through a third person, an employee. Mm -hmm. Did it say anything about today's email where my wife enrolled my sons in school? Yes. Seven years and three months ago, two grades below where they should have been. Oh, I know she said they were straight A students, but it seems that you're abuse right now. You're fucking abuse, Brett. Is that. When you look online, it doesn't tell you that it's about cyber stalking and violating the no contact order. Yes. Same no contact order that she didn't sign. Poof. But for some reason, every fucking court hearing right now, you seem to think that as long as you're in the prosecuting attorney's office, you can, uh, you can file these August 8th of 2017. Yes. You can sign them six days before. And then we looked at the whole citizen certification of exactly what they witnessed. Now, I'd have to say that my wife was using the court system to cover up the fraud of enrolling my sons in school two years. Yes. Behind where they should be right now. Pow. Now, I'm wanting to sue you. You can't say I failed to appear when you sent it to the wrong address. Mm -hmm. You should immediately have removed me from the jail coach, and redocketed the whole thing. <laughs> but these co-workers of my wife that say that I'm trying to contact her, ooch, the same woman, yes. Mm -hmm. Now this is the letter I. Oh, oh, oh. World Book Encyclopedia. I looked in the reference book, and they have what's known as um, insurance. Poach. Mm -hmm. Now, oh my golly, insurance of every city, every county, every state in the United States. Poach. I thought we should look at the insurances of the actual judicial system. Mm -hmm. Now, let's say that my sons are going to graduate at 19 and a half years old, and they're approximately a year and a half older, almost two years older than all the other students. Exactly what insurance um, insures adults while in high school? Pooch. Now, there's some major types of insurance, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have uh, life insurance, ooch, health insurance, p property and liability insurance, yes. The U.S. government insurance programs and the insurance industry, yes, yes, yes. Now, as I understand high school, because I did graduate from high school right now. Cow! <laughs> Get me the insurances of the Quilcene School District. <laughs> Get me the insurance of the Brennan School District. In fact, Get me the insurance of every school in the United States where there are limitations to the actual age of any student that can be insured. <laughs> 